All right, let's look at a uh, cone. This is a very useful one to know, but it's more useful to understand it than to know how to make it. Because it it shows you and illustrates why it's important to know where to place an edge loop. Okay, so in this case, take a cube, tab, let's go into a face. Let's shrink this face down. Let's get to the basic shape after all. Let's shrink it all the way down, as far down as we can get. We can zoom right in on that. And shrink it all the way down. And it, if you see it go like this, that's bad. So we don't want that to happen. Okay, that's a very sharp pyramid. All right, what happens if I brace the form? Because right now, what would happen? Well, again, try it out. multi resident subdivide it, and you get this, which I could be a shark tooth. All right. So if I brace the form, I know how to, control R. If I put an edge loop at the very top, now sometimes this is tricky, there we go, right about there. And just that act alone, I have this. Well, that's better than what I had. Now the bottom sucks. So let's go here. R. You can always be looking down here where I'm at, edit mode or object mode, so you get used to that. Those two changes right there should be sufficient for a pyramid or a, a cylinder, but there's one more. Again, try it out. That doesn't look half bad. You'll see it starts to round at the very edges at the bottom where this one's is very harsh. If you hit tab at the bottom, control E for extrude, then right click to cancel it out. You'll notice now when when it subdivides out, it's nice and what? Sharp. Okay. Let's go into wireframe and you can see that topology on that is very nice. Topology on this, not so nice. This one, I can subdivide it all day long. This one, if I subdivide it, it turns into this. So this is much more powerful than this because it has better potential to be other shapes. Not that I wanted to just a nicer topology, but it has a potential to become other shapes, and that's very important. All right, now. What if I wanted a pyramid with smooth edges? Okay, think about that. First off, Let's sharpen the point. Control R. Wouldn't I just place edge loops very close or somewhat close to the outside edge on all sides? Just like the box we did at the very, very get go. There we go. Let's subdivide that out. You can see it subdivides and it has a nice, super nice edge to it. Okay. Let's move on to the next shape, which is lastly the torus, which is surprisingly more like a cylinder than you know in the next video.